All right, YouTube, we're here for round two of the challenge. We won round one, two nothing. We beat, uh, and it is a Phoenix deck. We um, hit two, we were in, we were ahead in both games. And then we, we hit two timely battle rages to seal it. But, because I'm tall and Phil likes me more. Oh, Lawrence. Can I time you out and then mod you? I would like to play first. So probably going to be less chat and we're going to focus more. I'm going to mulligan this hand because if this was a... If I could get a black source off of this, I would have kept, but... Okay. Opponent mulligan as well. Lawrence loves you. I'm going to put this on the bottom. We've already mulliganed. Um, I mean, I'm going to Thought Scour push... Uh, well, I'm going to Inquisition. So, there's... I mean, I could just put it on top to psych my opponent out. But it doesn't matter. <clears throat> They're on to Civic Stream. So we can still, if we hit a fetch land next turn or a bobble or a wraith, we can still angler. All right, they scoop it up. Interesting. Well, both teams tried hard. So, what are the odds my opponent kept a one land serum vision's hand? They put a card on top, though. Boggles would make sense. I'm going to be on the draw. Boggles would, yeah, Boggles would make a lot of sense. I doubt it's going to be a deck where Fatal Push is good against. Regardless of what we're playing against, I don't think this card's going to be that good. We could go, we could like not go super overboard and bring in a Lightning Bolt. And we could just bring in our hymns. We're just going to go like this. The him on the draw is not as good, but like I don't think our fatal pushes are really gonna matter. Like I, I feel like my opponent's a degenerate deck here. Dykeman was not watching the game. <laughs> well, there wasn't much of the game to watch. Give him the him. I've played Clang Flame in the past. And it's been like, all right, like I think I like post mortem lunge better. If you're gonna play claim fame, I'd rather just I'd rather just kill him. Mulligan. Keep. This hand's very good. Oh, it sucks to a ley line. I think I want my second land. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, we're playing Adnaz. All right. That's much better than Boggles. Okay. All right, so we have a turn two Shadow. What I'm wondering is if I should... Am I going to have Am I gonna have time to... Like, if I don't hit something cheap here... That's another one. Yeah, I'm just going to jam two one ones. Next turn, and hope that I don't get murked by like a bond who's last reckoning. <laughs> I 
Uh, what am I looking for? Lands? I think I'm going to fetch before I draw. Even though, like, that's a little loosey-goosey. I really... Well, no, because hitting a third fetch land still wouldn't be that bad because it would make it so our shadows are fours. So let us take a draw step. Okay. Let's crack both of these, cycle our Street Wraith, and then Duble Death Shadow our opponent. I'm just going to get double Watery Grave. Our opponent didn't suspend a Lotus Bloom either, so they're kind of on hard mode. Yep, and just don't don't bond to me. <clears throat> Exile Bloom. Real talk here is am I gonna thought seize myself? Cause like So eight, I can put them to eight, eight damage puts in there, 14. So I have them on a three turn clock through this. Like we go crack them for four, they're at 10. They draw a card, play a land, do whatever. Pass back to us. We put them dead. They draw the land, they make their fifth land drop. And they would need a Simeon, no, they don't even need Simeon Spirit Guide to kill me. I should try to make my Death Shadows. Is there a way that I can kill them with Battle Rage next turn? So if I go. I want to make Battle Rage a lethal top deck next turn. So if I crack for 12. Thought sees myself to 10, fetch to 7. Like, I'm not sure I'm going to do this. I'm just thinking. Thought sees myself to 10. Fetch to 7. I play Snapcaster Mage, obviously. <clears throat> this deals them 14 points of damage. The Battle Rage. So Battle Rage is lethal if I Thought sees myself. If I don't Thought sees myself, I put them to... I deal them 8 damage. They go to 10. Flash and Snapcaster Mage. Next turn, Fetch Shock... Fetch shock. So I can't, I have to, to make Battle Rage lethal, <clears throat> our opponent's not going to play around anything. We're going to put enough, we're going to put enough of a clock on them where I think I'm literally just going to like play my Snapcaster Mage, Thought Seize myself. Because like it's not a lethal, like Battle Rage isn't lethal next turn if I don't Thought Seize myself. Because I can deal six. My opponent will be at, my opponent will be at ten and I can deal myself six. Eight points of damage, which means my shadow is only a nine. So if I battle rage one of my shadows, then it doesn't. Uh, I make so the unlife um, gets me. No, it's lethal because if you battle rage, first strike kills them, second strike kills them again. So that makes it lethal. So. Yes, but the first strike shadow deals damage before the other one does. Oh, I did my math wrong. I fucked my math all up because two shadows were attacking. Whatever. This is stupid. I did my math as if one shadow was attacking, but when I realized that two of them could attack. So, like, thought seizing the Snapcaster Mage didn't matter. Thought seizing myself didn't matter. Derp. Derp, derp, derp. No, I, I'm still... I mean, my line was right if I had one Death Shadow in play. But, like, I just didn't... For dealing with one math there. Yep. 
Yeah, I'm confused. There, Jace, the face. Battle Rage. No, that doesn't do it. Oh, they missed the land drop, too. Should have played my land, whatever. I messed this up. Let's all... I'll, I'll go over this game in a second, and then I'll talk about, like, why I did what I did. Because I made a mistake. And we're going to bolt them. I guess there's nothing more they can really do. I don't know. I'm kind of, like, checked out of this one. Yeah, they just scooped it up. So I messed up here. So the line was my Death Shadows. I had two 1-1s. One a Snapcaster to Thought Season Hand, and three Fetch Lands. So my opponent is at 18. If I go Fetch Shock, I ate them, okay? Then next turn, I go Fetch Shock. Go Fetch Shock, I ate them. Next turn, because they can't they can't kill me with the combo. No, they could have gone Land, Land, and killed me, but we would have had to draw the Stubborn Denial, and that, that still saves us anyway. So the Snapcaster Mage doesn't do anything. What matters is... If I'm at eight, if they're at 18, and I ate them, then they go to 10. I can then fetch down to seven. Thought sees myself to thought sees myself to nine, and then if I, I my shadows are only nine nines, and they're at 10. So then if I go to battle rage, one of my shadows, the first strike gets in, puts them to one, and the, and then the, whatever, the unlife soaks up the rest of it. So what I wanted to do is I didn't think that that Snapcaster Mage was going to matter because of how good of our clock was, that I just wanted to deal myself two damage so that then my shadows became sixes. I put them to 12 and my shadows, and then I can do whatever. I can fetch or something next turn. Doesn't matter. They, they take 12 damage. They go to six. I fetch Battle Rage of Shadow, and then that first strike damage kills my opponent the first time, and then the normal damage kills him the second time. So that that's why I did it there. Thinking that the Snapcaster Mage would be irrelevant. And if I drew one if I draw one stubborn denial, I likely win anyways. And don't need the Snapcaster, so I can just thought seize myself. Let me see what I got going on here. Yeah, Snap Bolt doesn't work. Yes, but it is lethal if I thought sees myself AZ for for Z for X because I deal them twelve damage and they're at six. If I don't thought sees myself, I deal them uh, eight damage and they're at ten, and then Battle Rage doesn't kill them. How's it going, uh, VGUINLH? What's the round? We're in round two. We just won round two. <sighs> I could play, but playing this deck is stressful. Yeah, my math was right. Yeah. But how many matches do I play in a regular week? Um, I stream twice a week. So that's probably like four leagues. And then I try to, I probably get like a league in every other day. On top of that. My wife's gone this week, so I play more. Did you uh, win or lose? That's a tough matchup. It's got like, it's got chalices, which are really annoying. I could play another match, but like, Playing this deck is difficult. I don't really want to do that. Playing this deck is difficult. You won, nice. I don't have a... 
I'm, I'm capped out renting this uh, Shadow deck. Sandy Dog Burn. Burn, baby. Burn. Burn. There's nothing wrong with playing with Sandy Dog. Okay. Um, okay, this is the big one. Sleight of Hand. Serum Visions is too slow. Um, it's a better cantrip when it comes to digging, but the format's so fast that, like, we need it now. So that's why Sleight of Hand's in play. It's just, it's an immediate selection of a card that gives you a look at two cards. It is better than Ops because Op does not give you the option to look at two cards at the same time and make your decision. You get to look at one card and make it a decision, then it's random. Um, this is what you're playing? Let me look. Let me look Inferno. Yeah, this is, this is Burn, Baby, Burn. Um, the sideboard. Uh, Rise Fall is... There are so many low land count decks. Like, when when we were talking with Mike about his sideboard guide, and we went here, let's just go Rise... Rise Fall. Rise Fall comes in in 13 matchups. Like, comes in in Grixis Death Shadow. It comes in against Burn. Comes in against Tron. We're a prison. All these low land count decks that need a critical mass of spells, you just him them. Hopefully. Um, humans. He brings in one against humans, but that's because our sideboard's just not set up to beat humans. And the rise part of it can kill uh, can kill Phantasmal Image. Or set up, uh, reset a big champion and like return a Snapcaster Mage or something. Bring it in against like Junge, uh, Blue White, one of them against Storm. Uh, Living End. No, it was bringing it against Living End. That doesn't make sense. That don't make no sense. Um, Mardu, which, you know, whatever. That's kind of a deck still. Adnaz, like it's a combo deck. So it's just like a low land count. My deck now here is literally Sandy Dog. Oh, so Infer Inferno, you are Sandy Dog. Nice. I almost used one of your decks in one of my articles, but I ended up going, I wanted to go with uh, an SCG, one that posted an SCG just to like keep it names with faces. Uh, Sleight of Hand is like, I think Sleight of Hand is just better than Sierra Visions right now. The format's too fast. You are not Sandy Dog. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm confused. So much going on. Opt is not good. You should not put opt in your in your deck. Brandon Burton. Okay. Okay. All right. I was I was confused. I was confused. My mistake. But we're good. We got it all figured out. <clears throat> I literally get stressed out playing this deck. The thought of me playing in between rounds is scary. I'm not that good. I've never been to a Pro Tour. You know? It's okay. It is okay. I'm going to go blow my nose. My nose is itchy. I think I forgot to stop my YouTube video.